We have a busy week ahead of us and we're gonna bring you along for the ride. Let's go. I love this jacket. I'm obsessed with workwear. Oswald and Sons coming in clutch. I love them so much. I love, okay, we gotta go yeah. on Okay, go let's go do some thrifting. I've never been to this shop. Yeah, this is new for us, so let's discover it together. That's a cool looking building. Okay. Is anybody here? Are they even open? Who knows? It says they're open. We found this place on Instagram and it's called the Rex Catalog and it's run by a bunch of young guys. It is really cool. I always love to see what people have cultivated, especially in the Midwest for vintage clothing. These will not fit me, but they are so fun. They're <laughs> huge. Uh, this one, I love this. Oh, that's fun. It's a rag like thing. Yeah. Those are sick. <laughs> These are awesome and they're so comfortable. Yes. You can tell they're old because of the way that they are. And I love this. I love this. Yeah, I saw this too. I was like, ooh. I do like it, but it kind of feels like I have shoulder pads. Like I, think it looks, I think it looks dope. It'd be cool for a video. Yeah, for a video. And then red. You get red. a bunch of Chiefs stuff, but this yeah. is like a practice jersey. I really like this one, and it's very fun fitting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this isn't Chiefs, but it's a similar colorway. Yeah, colorway. I like that colorway, though. I know. So, the Royals, you see that? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Ooh. It's a cane one. It's big. It's big, but it's fun. This one says nobody on it. Oh. This one's a little snug. Not, not a huge fan. No. <laughs> okay. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, it's jacked. Super tight right here, so. Probably a children's. Probably a children's. <laughs> Do you find any hats? I know. Look at them. Those are cool. Pleated? Pants. Whoa. Nice and worn in. They look comfy. You should try those. See if they, what, what size are they? 40s, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I did find. Oh, these are the. the oh, oh, yeah. They're a little big, so they fit you too if you wanted to. Um, you'd have to wear, I'd have to wear about what I'm. But they fit like a glove. Yeah? It's crazy. Do they flare enough, though? That's the question. The question. They've cultivated a really cool warehouse vibe filled with chiefs and royals and wizards and sporting and all kinds of old Kansas City sports memorabilia as well as some history to the animation past of the city, which is very exciting and fun. But the main reason we were there was to look at everything they'd cultivated to sell as clothing. The funnest part was looking through everything that they had, um, the unique pieces, the more familiar pieces, and the very worn pieces. Paul and I didn't buy a ton today, even though we wanted to. We're trying to save space in our closets as we have purchased a lot of clothes over the last year. But we did enjoy trying on everything, and this is the shirt Paul ended up bringing home. I'm almost self-conscious. I feel like I'd be sucking in all day. But, uh, Let it out. Like, I think you look you look great. It's fine. It's good. Paul found these mechanic patches that say George and Fred, and we would love to have those for our George and Fred Weasley cosplay. I didn't actually see those, and he didn't tell me about them until we left, but we thought about going back and grabbing them. All right, Luke, what'd you think? Prices were good. Prices ranged from, you know... 25 15 to 25 bucks not bad for a vintage shop um, especially curated vintage yeah. like that where it's like a limited That's space awesome. and not just like donations okay so we bailed on uh, vintage shopping because luke liked this shirt and uh we wanted to get some videos recorded so we went with this kind of like red and blue vibe we went back home to change yeah though. real quick and then we were like oh crap okay let's go out and shoot this so we came to the crossroads which is not near our house at all but we really like this like alleyway. So we're gonna shoot here, we're gonna shoot a couple others. So we'll take you along behind the scenes. I'm currently shooting on a 70, or yeah, a 24 to 70. And we're kind of zoomed in. What, which one are we doing? Dabaga. Are we hopping it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, are we doing our pose? Pose, 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 shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, and cross one. No, my glasses are flying. I saw that. The colors are fun. That's fun. I like that. Good. Okay. His arm wasn't strong for me. On the um, honestly, uh, there was a lot of things that were not strong for me, like me tripping on this. I literally hate filming dances like in the same outfit because then it's like, oh, you all shot this on the same day. But of course we did. 
How else do you batch process anything? But also, I just, I'm annoyed by seeing the same outfit over and over again, so. Not for other people. My personal, not for other people, just for me. <laughs> what is right here? What is this? Look right here. Can you look right here? Look toward me. It's very harsh, but it's a vibe. Look right here. Uh, so, man, the sun keeps going in and out. Come, come look at it. It's either too underexposed or too overexposed, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe we'll just try to find another place with shade. Dang it. I went to the old wall floor. No. No. I did it. I looked stupid. Thank you. Woo! See what this looks like here. Ew. Ew, gross. Yuck. I gotta get hit everything a lot harder. I don't know. Ah. Oh, but the but the out was good. No, the watch this this turn. Oh yeah. No, I gotta do that again. It's right here. Every time there, boom, got and push up. I almost missed that ball change. Now for some singles, some solos. That was a worthless piece of content. I just filmed at five x, so you couldn't see anything. Well, wow. but we did just record. The duel of us doing it, the, our, our new dance together, and then singles for yeah. our personal pages. Wait, honestly, now we need to do singles of the abba abba Yeah, we need to figure out a place to do that. Is the light better this way? Like a side light, but with the time topic and the skyline behind you? One sec, one sec, let me see, let me see, let me see. This is abba abba gabba <laughs> Have fun with it, work it. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Uh, yeah. That's fun, that's what it is. Okay, I think let's call it. We got lots filmed. Lots of filmed? This, this video was kind of secondary, so I, uh, sorry if you felt ignored. I like to see the behind the scenes of what people are doing. Yeah. And I know that that's sometimes boring. At the same time, I think that it's realistic. <laughs> that is true. It Life takes so over. much time. I still can't get over how much I love <laughs> this. 2,000 years later. I came out to my fave place. No, actually, I don't know if it's my fave, but I do like this place. We left the gym. We worked on, today we were working on doing the Kung Fu Panda song. We were learning Everybody about it. Kung Fu Panda. It's just kind of so easy, it's hard, and the sequencing is difficult. So we're having a lot of fun with it, but it was a lot of hard, a lot of hard work. We needed to post, and I did want to go home, and I'm obsessed with this video that I'm posting right now. It's the legs video that we filmed the other day. I'm very excited about it. And I'm obsessed with the anime guy in the background, just like. Also, the other ones that we'll post in a second of the two of us. Yes. I love this, because we're just in the background. I don't even watch the person dancing. I'm just watching the person in the background vibing, because I think it's so funny. My favorite thing. Your eyelashes are so long. Oh, I thought you said I had something in them. I was like, what? Well, they're kind of a block on that side. Here, hold on. Look at these eyelashes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Are my eyelashes low? I don't know. I I can't see mine, so I don't know. Are my eyelashes low? They feel like they're long. You should look at this. You'll have to look. My eyes are kind of watering. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about vlog strategy. And we want to be more casual. And like, look like we're talking to each other. Also, discovery oriented. Discovery oriented. We want to go like challenge I, ourselves. I want to go places and be like, I found I found this on TikTok and I want to find it in Japan. You know, it's like, go and find it. Well, I guess we just should buy tickets from Japan again. Might as well go back to Japan. And I mean, we have to about all the content we have right now. From Japan yeah. already. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Why am I here and not editing? I love this place. Should I show this? I'm gonna show the vibes of this place. Show the vibes. This place is called Made in KC. And um, there's a bunch of different locations around Kansas City. They've been around for like 10 years. I don't know, a long time. They opened this shop maybe 2019, 2018. And it's like a bar and a espresso bar. They've got all kinds of stuff in there. It's fun, but it was kind of busy. So I didn't want to talk and film. <laughs> you don't talk too loud? Well, well, they removed a lot of the like retail space that they had. So I mean, Made in KC was known as like stocking a lot of local stuff. They still do though in the plaza. Now it's like there's a bar and then a seating area. It's just then, a t-shirt you know, and like some syrups or something. And that's it. But I just love this like vibe. I'm obsessed with this building structure and the stair step. And it's just so like, oh, over I, there. Here's the deal. I like vintage buildings. So like over there, you've got some vintage buildings like down at the end of the street. You can't really see it from here. But this building is like more of a modern build. And I don't love like, let me just tell you. Yeah. So there's like vintage down here. Right? So like a vintage architecture. And then you have this. Gross, I hate. And then this, I don't hate. I don't know why. I just like the structure from this angle. The fact that it's stair steps is fun. Yeah. yeah. It's that just very- cool. I love that building over there. The, which one with the, the cool- 
Like three belly, it's got the cool mold together. Right? Yes, this one right here. Yeah, I love yes. that. Yes, the entire top floor. Like, I want windows all around me in my living room. The next day, we're filming down here, and we just I forgot to film any BTS of it, but we just filmed our Josie Dunn dance video. Which I'm really happy with it's very like but we shuffling didn't... ravey and we did not film a single thing of BTS because we were stressed out and we lost all our sun but then the sun just came, the sun just came back out but that cloud was covering it for freaking ages and we thought it was going to be like dark before it came back out but it came back out but first we're going to do wicked again because wicked. a trend The Everly Dance. We got time for one more. We're gonna take our glasses off, maybe. Yeah. Uh, just a bit different. Turn our hats backwards. Oh, sure. What kind of cool, cool bros? How do I look? So good. Do I look like an idiot, kind of? You kind of look like an idiot. Maybe like you're a wannabe. You're doing uh, too much, Matt. We should charge it with the train. The train is going right now. Here, 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 hurry. Look, look, look. Go out there. Go there. Go now. Find the song. Find the song. Here we go. No glasses. That was good. I love it. I like it. That's it. That's the shake. I like filming these because you actually get to see our reactions to the takes. Yes. Actually, you don't get to see them. I should be showing us reacting to the takes. Yes, but we actually... But honestly, we got the perfect take because I stopped at the train right when we got the take. We were driving home and there's this like walkway that goes across this bridge. But look at downtown. I love that. Look the lighting right there. We're going to see if there's enough room to dance on this sidewalk. There probably isn't, but... We're gonna dance really close to each other. Yeah. You don't need a dance floor. Oh my. One minute later. We parked right next to this plant store and I didn't realize it was actually open, so we're gonna check it out. This is West Bond's Plant Co., I think. I've heard people uh, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I heard. But I want one of these for one of the Wally Groves. Luke has like three that look very similar to it. Not identical, but similar, and he still wants them. No. Not mad. Not mad about it. But I love these windows. I want those windows in my apartment. Mine never looks like that. Let's see. Wouldn't that be so cool in a Wally Grove? That would be really sick. Oh, that's nice and healthy. They always look so healthy in the store, and then you get taken home, and they immediately stop looking like that. Yeah. I like that variation and like. Oh, not quite. This place is also an antique store. It's a little bit of everything, actually. Look at this little camera! Amber, really... like, glassware over here. Ooh! I don't know what these are. But they're heavy. I think they're, are those, those cricket balls? I don't think so. They're different colors and they have numbers on them. Oh, yeah. I love all this stuff. This little dustpan. Is this a stamp? Mm, I think so. It is. Hefty. But it won't turn. I couldn't get it to turn. Oh, this is these are that's the, this is what I was thinking. Of. Yeah, that's what these. Are. Yeah. Okay, that would be a cool piece on the on like that shelf. The shelf. I've always wanted. I love old locker. Yeah, old lockers. Old locker. That'd be sick. Paul found this hat. Found this hat. It says, Which, "That's, that's a, wrap. a wrap." I might have to take. I might have to get it. I don't want to have any yellow, but it's like a trucker hat. It's a vibe. I got my hat. That's a wrap. Well, that's a wrap. <laughs> a special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.